Good day. This week we are looking at Psalm chapter 23 and we are looking at verse 3 this morning in the Amplified Classic Bible. It says, He refreshes and restores my life, myself. He leads me in the paths of righteousness, uprightness and right standing with Him, not for my earning it, but for His name's sake. Notice what he's saying here, that He provides restoration. And then he connects restoration to our righteousness. You know, he's talking about my soul being restored. Once again, here there is an invitation for you and I to engage with Jesus as my good shepherd and allow him to restore my soul. But restoring my soul means that I need to be identifying with him and not with my old man. And I'm not talking about my father. I'm talking about my old man, the, the man that was who has died in sin. But so many times we are identifying with the first Adam or the old man rather than identifying with Jesus because he is the source of my righteousness. When my identity is secure in my righteousness, that I am one with Jesus, it begins to restore my soul because I'm renewing my mind to the fact that I'm not connected to sin and death and what that brings, but I'm connected to the very life of Jesus. And that's the place where my soul, which is my mind, my will and my emotions are restored. And Jesus wants to restore those things where devastation has happened, whether it's devastation in my emotions, my heart, my mind, my finances, my body. He's the one who provides guidance. He's the one who provides his promises that I can begin to partake of those promises and the divine life and escape the corruption that is in this world through lust. So he's saying that because of God's grace, because I've been given righteousness and I begin to identify with that, my soul begins to be restored. In Ruth 4 verse 15, it says, He shall be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. Man, if you're getting old and you're thinking, man, my, my body needs to be restored, my life needs to be restored, Jesus is the one who restores you. In Jeremiah 30 verse 17, it says, For I will restore health to you and your wounds I will heal. Jesus is a restorer. He's the one who makes all things new. He's the one who takes something that might look old and battered and beaten because of what life has done to it, and he restores it and makes it new. I want to encourage you to connect with Jesus as the Good Shepherd. And as you begin to connect to him and identify with him, watch how your life is restored because you are connecting to the very source of life, Jesus, your Good Shepherd. Always remember, you are highly favored and deeply loved of God.